Welcome to Parent Lab, I'm Jim. We believe the best parents are those who are always learning and we want to partner with you to help you become the best parent you can be. In our first episode, I shared that I have the privilege of being a dad to three grown boys. Now, one of my favorite ages was when our boys were three to five. They were about thigh high and I could reach down and put my hand on their head and do what I call noggin navigation. I could simply turn their heads and bodies in the direction I really wanted them to go. I had near 100% control over where they were heading. Now, of course, we know that that phase is short-lived and that sets us up for the second of five essential conversations for raising successful kids, the head engage. The head engage helps us understand how to move from control to influence. This gauge indicates the direction your children are in fact going moment by moment and over the course of time. Bottom line, we want our children to be headed in directions that are positive, productive, and life-giving. This gauge indicates the two primary ways we can affect the heading of our children. When they are young, we can literally control their environment, movement, and location in space. We can set clear and healthy boundaries. Or as one of my friends says, we talk about the family sandbox that everyone has to play in. As our kids grow, however, there are inflection points when we increasingly lose the capacity to control the directions our kids will choose to go. The first inflection point is the day we drop them off at daycare or their first day at school. At either place, other people, caretakers, teachers, and peers begin to enter their lives. And with them, they bring different perspectives and values. In each case, our kids begin forming emotional attachments with these individuals, and with those attachments come their voices. Voices which may or may not be leading them in the directions that we would approve. The second inflection point, and perhaps the most significant one, is the day we give our kids a smartphone. Despite our best efforts with parental controls, through their own ingenuity or the devices of friends, they will get access to the world, and I mean the whole world. Specifically engineered platforms designed to grab and hold their attention will do just that. And now even more voices are speaking into our kids' lives. Influencers on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. Don't think for a minute that our kids aren't hearing those voices louder, longer, and clearer than they hear ours. That little block of glass, aluminum alloys, and printed circuit boards is wresting more and more control from us and it is becoming our biggest rival for the primary influence in our kids' lives. How then can we increase our influence so that we remain the strongest directional voice in our kids' lives? Especially when there is practically no chance that we will ever be an influencer on social media that our kids would want to watch. Parents, we have three powers though to grow our influence that TikTok influencers can't touch. First, we can genuinely and consistently love our kids. We have an opportunity every day to engage with them, affirm their worth and value, and tangibly work for their best interest, and be with them in the struggles that every kid faces growing up in this modern world. Second, we can give them wise counsel in those trying moments. If we'll keep our emotional reactivity down to a minimum and be a calm and practical source of truth, they will return to us again and again when they need to know life's most important answers. And finally, nothing can solidify or destroy our influence like our own personal example. If we live a life of integrity, a life defined by living what we profess, our credibility and influence will only increase. On the other hand, if we live a hypocritical or duplicitous life, our influence will vanish in a heartbeat. I cannot stress enough our need to monitor this parenting gauge closely. When our kids are young, it's relatively easy to control the directions they're headed. All we have to do is apply a little physical force. But as you know, there will come a time when we can still physically overpower their bodies and with emotional force prevail over their wills, but we won't be able to move their hearts. It's at this point that moving from control to influence becomes incredibly crucial. For when we continue to try to control the directions of their lives with authoritarian pronouncements, anger and threats, we end up pushing them further in the opposite direction we're hoping that they will go. So let's talk about that. 
What are some questions that can guide our conversations as we consider how and when to move from control to influence? Here's the first one. Who is someone who has influence in your life? Why have you allowed them to speak into you? What can you learn from that when it comes to parenting your children? Here's the second question. As you think about each of your children, what are the healthy ways you need to continue to control the environments you allow them to be in? The interactions with others that you allow them to engage in and the boundaries you expect them to live within. Here's the third question. What change in an attitude or an action over time would increase your influence in each of your kids' lives? And four, what new situation is on the horizon that might represent a coming shift in the amount of control you have over your child? What can you do now to prepare for that? And remember, this is meant to be more than a one-time conversation. This is a parenting gauge you will need to return to again and again. And if you do it faithfully, you will give your kids the best possible chance to live a satisfying and productive life. If this series has been helpful to you and you'd like to help us get the word out to even more parents, please like it and then click on subscribe below. We want you to have access to more practical parenting helps. And stay tuned for our next episode in which we explore the connection gauge, how to balance the level of closeness and distance essential for strong emotional connections.